What's up guys, my name is Julian, your solar expert, and today I have one of the most important videos I've ever made for you. I put together this giant whiteboard which goes over the cash flow of all the different ways of going solar, including of course, not going solar. So we have four lines. We have purple, red, blue, and green. Purple line is the utility, which is just not going solar. And then we have the red line, which is a PPA, which as you can see is the, the second most expensive, uh, costing over $140,000 in this scenario. We have a loan at 20 years, almost 9% interest. And then of course we have cash, which not everyone can do, but it's really important to kind of understand how much they're saving given they don't pay interest or pay someone else to have the money be borrowed for them. So as you can see here, cash is by far the cheapest. It's only $35,000 net in this case, which is literally less than half the cost of any of the other options. And so before we dive in, real fast let me just show you what we're even kind of quoting here obviously like I said the cash price would be fifty thousand dollars you can get you know depending upon your state where you are this is a couple of batteries so maybe let's let's say it's two Powerwall threes and between a nine and a 12 kilowatt solar system what I really want to focus on in this video is how the PPA is less expensive than the loan and everything else at the beginning but not in the long run and this is how companies like Sunrun have this financial engineering at work for their benefit and only I don't want to say fool you but definitely make you feel like you're getting a better deal than you really are and so let's kind of break this down and get into some of these numbers but I know it's probably kind of hard to see so let, let's kind of zoom in on just kind of the first 10 years here so we can kind of see it a little bit clearer all right, so zooming in on the first 10 years, we can see a little more clearly that the PPA line remains pretty low. This difference right here is what people get caught up on because they want to save money now. Now, the, the purple line is the utility. And in this example, as you can see, I actually have the loan being more than the utility. And I actually have the real numbers on a spreadsheet that I'm going to pop up onto the screen right now. And as you can see, the payment starts at $288. But in the first five years, at year five, you're already at $335. And at year six, you've actually crossed over. And now that payment is more expensive than what that fixed loan payment would be at 344. As we continue on, you get to year 12. And you can see that your payment is already at $438. And as we go through all the way to year 20, you can see that your payment is just shy of $600. And as we go all the way through year 25, you're already at $721, which if you add all of this up and you look at the sum of all of these payments, it's a whopping $142,000, which is absolutely absurd for a system that the cash price was only $50,000 and really with the tax credit, $35,000 net. It's pretty unbelievable that Sunrun can knock on your door. These other companies can, you know, knock on your door and essentially say, no, don't buy the system. You have all this liability, which is kind of a lie already to begin with, but to basically fool you into saying, oh no, it's way cheaper because of this low payment and on purpose, by design, the sales pitch does not help you understand kind of the long-term cost. They don't really show you very clearly on purpose because, you know, why would they want to show you what it costs in the long run? Because clearly you wouldn't want to do it. Now, really, there's a lot more that comes to comparing a PPA versus a loan. Like, for example, I talk a lot about the equity that you build and how at any point in time with a loan, you can just pay it off. You're just paying the principal off. There's no interest associated with that. And you just own the system outright and clear after that point in time versus a PPA where if you want to get out of it early, there's only really one main way to do it, which is to transfer that to the new buyer of your house. And, and if you're not moving, unfortunately, you're just going to be stuck with some giant payoff amount, which is far more than what the system would have just been cash up front and there's no tax credit that way. There's so many other benefits of owning the system like being able to change the system later, add on, alter it. But of course for this video this is about the payment and so even though the payment on the loan is more expensive at the beginning, it obviously as you can see ends up being less expensive when you zoom out. 
So to kind of sum up the situation here, I have people that all day, they look at me and go, I think that PPA is gonna be a better deal because look at my payment. I'm saving, you know, 50 or $60 a month versus the loan. And, you know, with that loan, I'm even paying more than what the utility's charging me right now. Like, why would I do that? And I feel like if most people could just see this and visualize it and really understand the cost, they would clearly say, oh yeah, I have no problem taking on a payment that's $10 or $30 more than my existing payment because I can understand the investment that I'm making versus getting swindled into this cheaper cost swapping service type of mindset which only results in you basically getting way overcharged or being in a bad situation. So yeah, I just uh, wanted to kind of make sure that people understood how this escalator really shoots your payment up and backloads the cost towards the end of the term and how even though it doesn't look very scary right at the beginning, really this is a wolf in sheep's clothing because it looks so innocent and easy to pay and not a big deal and a money saving tool right at the beginning when in reality you're going to spend way more money in the long run if you do it. So with that being said, I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out. We have free consultations in over 30 states. Julian Todd Borden, you can call me at 760-473-5878 or email me. You can click on the link below. You can fill out the JOT form and we'll have your basic information and we'll give you a call back and schedule a consultation for you. All right, hope you found this video helpful once again and talk to you soon.